Hello, my dear students. Dina, ma'am here. Uh, today we are going to talk about a protocol which is Internet Protocol. We popularly know it as IP. In my theory lecture, we have already started with this particular topic. Let me just rewind and review certain things which I have already completed. The IP, which is Internet Protocol, lies or as it is a part of the network layer. Along with IP, it has got other protocols such as IGMP, ICMP, ARP and RARP. But in today's lecture, our focus is on IP. So let's get started with IP. Now, you already know that Internet Protocol is a connectionless datagram protocol which is particularly used for packet searching network. Now, we have also seen the concept of datagram approach. Uh, just to tell you in few lines, the datagram approach consists of various packets which are traveling and taking different routes so that they can reach its destined host X. So, if you can see, various packets are taking different routes but their main aim is to reach the destination X. At the destination, they will be gathered, they will be uh, arranged in sequence so that even if the first packet reaches last, they will be rearranged at the other end. So, this approach is called as a datagram approach. Now, so some of the things which you should be remembering about IP is that IP is a connectionless network layer protocol. It is based on datagram approach. And thirdly, and very important is that IP is an unreliable protocol. So it is a network layer protocol, it uses datagram approach and it is unreliable protocol. So with this uh, things in mind, let's move forward. Now IP, the packets which are present in the IP are called as, technically called as data packets. Now, this is the structure of a datagram. It consists of a header and it consists of the data. The header is a variable having the size of 20 to 60 bytes and because of that our data is occupying the size right from 20 to 65536 bytes. Now header is divided so that I can see these various fields which are present in the IP datagram. The version field occupies four bits. Right now we are in version 4, so that's why these four bits will be representing word number 4. If it was version 6, then the four bits would be represented so that I can get a binary version of number 6. Now header length. This particular field is consisting of four bits. Now, as we have also seen in our theory class previously, the header length is from, uh, it's occupying four bits and the minimum number which uh, it can have is five and the maximum number which it can have is 50. Five into four is 20 and 50 into four is 60. That's how we get this header length 20 to 60 bytes. We will be doing some of the problems related to all these fields. That's later. But let's first finish understanding the datagram structure. Now next is service type. This service type defines and describes the type of services for which 8 bits are being kept. Out of which, out of these 8 bits, core point field is given in the idea about type of service. So the total length for the purpose of total length 16 bits are kept. Now let's move on to the next uh, three fields. These three fields are very very important as far as the process of representation is concerned. The field called identification, flags and fragmentation offset. These three fields are very very important for the purpose of fragmentation. Now, first let's understand what is the meaning of fragmentation. Now, 
when the datagram is traveling, it can travel two different networks. Each router is then it reaches each of the router or each of the node. That time the router will decapsulate the IP datagram and then again encapsulate it another frame. Now fragmentation by the power of process of fragmentation. Fragmentation is simply a process of splitting the data into smaller chunks of data fragments. Now, so that I can make the IP independent of the physical network, that's why you can understand the process by this particular diagram. Suppose I have my frame which is present at the data link. So it's going to have a header, it's going to have a trailer, and it's going to have a transfer That is when a datagram is encapsulated in a frame, the total size of the datagram must be less than the maximum size. So when the datagram is fragmented, you should always remember that each fragment will have its own header. Whether most of the fields are visible, but there is also some of the changes which are happening in some of the We have to remember three things about fragmentation. First is that the datagram can be fragmented either by the source or so any other router in the car if the need arises. The reassembling of the datagram is done at the destination because each of the fragments is considered as an independent datagram. So it will reach it will reach not in sequence but randomly at the destination first. So the assembly is very very important. And all the fragments which are belonging to one datagram should be collected or reassembled in one particular datagram. Now who helps to do that? Now these fields, the identification, flags and fragmentation offset can help you to do that particular process of fragmentation successfully. Now identification field. This identification field identifies the data gram which is originating from the source which whenever I have to fragment the data gram. The value of this field is copied in all the signals. So then if I am a destination it will help me to reassemble the data gram. Reassemble the fragments having the same identification number into a single data gram. The concept is similar to the class name. So if I mix all the divisions class name, I can separate you because you belong to division K. So whoever in roll number is having the alphabet capital K, I know that they belong to division K. That's how I can reassemble you as division K and make a full class division K. Alright? The next one is the Flag. These flags are three types of flags. The first one is reserved or it is for future use. The second flag is a G flag which is do not fragment. If this do not fragment flag is equal to 1, that means the fragmentation process has not yet happened or it is not present. If G is equal to 0, that means data plan has fragmented. Now let's talk about the plan F. If capital F, which is no fragments, is equal to 1, it means that it is not the last fragment and no fragments are arriving. This helps the destination to know if no fragments are in line for coming for me to be assembled. If this N is equal Zero, it surely means that this is the last fragment of the full fragment and the no fragments are come. The next thing is a very important uh, field which is called as fragmentation offset. This is a coupling bit field and the offset of the data in the original data plan is always measured in terms of inputs. Now this particular example will help you to understand the fragmentation offset. Choose the 
remember that size of the fragmentation of cell is 30 meters. Let's see an example. Suppose I have got one pentagram which is having a size 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 9, 9, 9, 5. If I want to fragment this particular data band, suppose if the first fragment is 0, 0, 0, 0 and its last fragment is 1, 3, 9, 9, then I can find the offset for this as by dividing the first byte by 8. And then 0, 0, 0, 0 divided by 8 is 0. Now my next fragment, the second fragment of this particular data can will now start to 1, 4, 0, 0. I can find the offset for this particular fragment by dividing it by 8. That's how I get 175. I can find out the last fragment a number if I do the total length of the second fragment. Otherwise, I should be knowing the last fragment, uh, sorry, the last byte of the fragment. Now, if I move on to the third fragment, this ends up 2799. So, now the next fragment starts from 2800. If I divide 2800 by 8, I get the offset to be 350. So for this third fragment, the offset is 350. So that's how I can find out the fragmentation offset. This fragmentation offset is the relative position of any fragment with regards to the data. Uh, data. Got it? So these three keys are very, very important for the process of fragmentation. Which three keys? Identification key, flag key, and fragmentation offset. Now, the next key which is there in the IP datagram is time to live. In short form, it is called as TTL. It is used to control the maximum number of hops, or in place of hops, we can say that counters which are visited by a datagram. The datagram itself stores a number in this field which is twice the maximum number of the routes between any two hooks. Any time a packet or a datagram comes to a router, the router will decrement this number by 1. And finally, if this number, TTL number, is equal to 0, the router discards the datagram. The main purpose of this field is that it limits the lifetime of the datagram. Otherwise, what will happen? The datagram will keep on circulating throughout the network. So, to limit it is like that, TTL equals closed. Right? Now, next is the protocol key. This protocol key will be always telling ki which higher level protocols are being used along with the IP. Suppose if in the protocol there is an encapsulation of TCP. Then there will be number 6 in this field UDP 17, ICMP 1, IGMP 2, and OSP 89. So, whenever multiplexing and demultiplexing processes take place, it knows, the destination knows which protocol is being used in this particular encapsulation. Checksum field. This checksum field is used so that packet is divided into k sections each of n bits. All sections are added together using one's complement arithmetic and the final result is complemented to make the checksum. Now going back to the format of IP datagram. There is a header checksum which we have talked about. Source IP address and destination IP Source IP address is a 32 bit and destination IP address is also 32 bits. It helps to identify the destination and the source IP address helps to identify the source. The option keys are 40 bytes long, which are basically used for testing and key. Please understand when option field is 0, that time the header length may number will be 5. I already told you. Because 5 into 4 is 20, then the option field is at maximum, it will be 50. 